This tutorial is going to go over quite a few things in Houdini and it's going to be like a tutorial to help get you started in how things work. We're going to use a little bit of a lot and hopefully it'll just kind of get you oriented with Houdini. So what we're going to do is go to our create shelf and let's create a font. Let's, let's select font and you can see we have our font here. So let's go in and change the font. Now we have our font. So okay now that we have this let's go to our polygon shelf and let's poly extrude this. So make sure we have it selected. Let's hit poly extrude and hit return. And that will make sure we have our little symbol here. I'm going to pull this out. Now we have an extrusion. Let's go to our, if you look closely though, we have nothing on the back here. So let's go to our options tab and select output back. And now we have our back. But we need to clean this up a little bit. So let's select our text. As you can see, just the front of it was selected. We need to select the whole thing, which will get the back and all. I'm going to hit facet. This will help clean up our text. So we facet it and then we're going to click cusp polygons and we're going to set our cusp angle to 85. And that helps clean up our text a whole heck of a lot. Okay. So now let's go to our material tab and let's add a couple basic surfaces. Let's make one blue and let's make one orange. And let's reset everything so we can see what color they are. It'll update for us. Let's control click a ground plane. Okay, so let's go back to our object view, select our font. Let's go into our font, select our font node, and I'm going to uncheck center text vertically. And as you can see, that will lift it up a little bit. Okay, so now let's go ahead and lift our text up like this. And let's rotate it a little bit to make it off kilter. Okay. So now we have our font, our edit, our poly extrude, our facet. We got our ground plane and our text. Let's go to our material tab and put our blue ground plane. And let's make our text the orange. Okay. So now we have all that. Now before we go do, start doing our dynamics, let's add a camera. And let's add a light. So I'm going to go to my cameras, lights and cameras tab and control click a camera and that'll lock a camera down right there. As you can see I'm in cam 1. I'm going to select no cam. Now I can back out. Now you can see my camera right there. Now let's put a light in here. Let's go ahead and select control click a spotlight. Now we have our spotlight. Um, let's go into our spotlight options to our light tab. Let's make our cone angle 22 and our delta angle 3. Like that. Okay. So now we have our spotlight right here and our camera right here. Let's go to our other side and let's add a point light. And we'll go to our lights tab and change the intensity to 0 0.2 to make it real, real soft. Okay. So let's go back to our spotlight. Let's go into our shadows tab and select shadow type ray traced. That way our spotlight will cast shadows. Now we have our point light, our spotlight, and our camera set up here. As you can see, we have our point light, our spotlight, and our camera. So let's go up here and look for our camera. We have this, okay? So now let's go into our font object. Now we have our font object. Let's pull down our facet node and pull up everything else. Now in between these two nodes we're going to put some technical nodes which will help us break these letters apart to be separate. Right now it's all one font object. We want each letter to be its own object. So I'm going to right click on my poly extrude and type connectivity. And there's my connectivity node. Now inside my connectivity node under the attribute command I'm going to type letter shapes. L-E-T-T-E-R-S-H-A-P-E-S. -T -T -E -E one word. Okay. And hit return. Now after my connectivity node, I'm going to right click again and type partition. This is going to partition out my letters. I'm going to put my partition node now. Now up here under rules, I'm going to type this expression, okay? I'm going to type letter, L-E-T-T-E-R-S, underscore, dollar sign, L-E-T-T-E-R-S-H-A-P-E-S. -E so we have letters, underscore, dollar sign, letter shapes in capitals hit return. 
Okay, so now we have that set up. Let's go back up to our object level. And um, let's, let's go to our rigid bodies and select RBD Fracture Object. I'm going to select that. It's going to ask for my object that I want to be fractured. I'm going to select my font object. And I'm going to hit return. Okay. Now when it falls, you can see it falls down and it breaks apart. And as you can see, if we render this, of course, we have our materials and stuff too. Let's let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit, and let's adjust our camera. Let's bring it closer, like this. Like that right there. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. We got our Houdini pen. We can select our ground plane and lower it some. Okay, now let's take a quick screen render. Now, as you can see, we have our Houdini 10, and it's fallen, and it looks pretty good. And when it falls, it breaks to pieces, like each text is its own individual object. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, it's quick, it's fast, it shows you a lot. Um... It shows you a lot of what Houdini's capable of. Um, fast, you can see how quickly done this. Um, let this go through and cook here so I can play it through for you. Um, and let me, while it does that, let me find one I rendered out here. We have this one that I've rendered out. And we have this one that I've rendered out. Which, you know, I think it looks pretty good for under 10 minutes worth of work. And I did this one too. So let's go back up here. As you can see, it's it's still cooking down. Now there it goes, and we're finished. Everything breaks apart. Everything looks good. And if you wanted to render this, you just have to go in and set you up a render node and export it. And we can cover that in a different video. So I hope you've learned something, and we'll see you next time.